In season one of The Walking Dead, Rick and the gang find out that the zombie virus has infected everyone, regardless of whether or not you get bit or die from natural causes, you will turn into a zombie. We're all infected. What? At the CDC, Jenner told me. Whatever it is, we all carry it. That's capitalism. This was a chilling realization, but accepting this truth informed Rick and the gang on how they would proceed to operate for survival. And this is simply what artists need to do. V has come to. On the song New Slaves, Ye opens up with this. My mama was raised in the era when clean water was only served to the fairer skin. Doing clothes, you would have thought I had help, but it wasn't satisfied. Unless I picked the cut at myself. You see, it's broke, nigga, raise some nest that don't touch anything in the snow. And it's rich, nigga, raise some nest that come in, please buy more. What you want? A Billy fur coat, a diamond chain? All you blacks want all the same thing. Used to only be niggas. They might play. Spinning anything on. Sidebar, I'm editing the video right now. I had never seen that rendition of New Slaves. Um, I've seen the Saturday Night Live joint. Um, I've seen, I, you know, I, I just wrote, I wrote what I wrote and I plan to kind of just put that clip in there um, with the with the actual freaking, you know, MP3 file. But then I was like, let me avoid some of these content strikes and see if I can use one of these performances because it might be like easier to to, to kind of get through just putting the piece of performance rather than the song itself. Um, I don't know. It doesn't matter to me. I, I just want y'all to enjoy the video. But um, that that joint was chilling. Um, I'll see if I can put that song or that that video in the um, the description as well because chilling. That joint was crazy, bro. All right, yo, catch y'all later. When Ye was going into fashion, brands wanted to collaborate with Ye, but not partner with him. And we see this a lot with artists these days. The companies capitalize off the artist's influence, their fan base, and moves on to the next when that artist's career fizzles out. Artists are getting checks off their brands, but they're not seen as equals to the larger products and corporations that usually outlive, outlast, and outspend an artist's career. Capitalism and exploitation, just they just go hand in hand. Look at any super successful product and you will find a mass of people or resources that are being exploited. And here's some examples. Apple exploits cheap labor in Asia to make iPhones, because without that, we wouldn't be able to afford the iPhones. Um, Facebook exploits its users, its large population of people who want to make connections with their families. Um, it exploits those users' personal data to sell advertising solutions to companies. America exploited free labor of black slaves to build the most powerful economy in the world. And similarly, Streaming platforms like Spotify exploit artists to sell music subscriptions to their customers. And when you look at the music industry, 80% of the revenue is made on streaming platforms. So we have a problem here. When it comes to the music business, Kanye's track applies. Artists are the new slaves. They are pretty much the slave class of this analogy. They are paid fractions of a penny per stream, no control over pricing or distribution. The artists invest thousands of dollars into albums that they have no control over. Artists have lost their product. It does not make sense to compete in a Western world without an actual product or a service. All right, so I'm a father of three, uncle of two, Godfather of four, and 
I know I'm doing the most with these, these, these edits, but I want to provide opportunities and make life like better and enjoy life with my kids and my family. And, you know, that's the goal. And this capitalism thing, like I've seen a lot of conversations on YouTube about socialism and definitely a lot of very intellectual thinkers and voices from the black community that are talking about these ideas. And I think they're awesome. But on the other, other side, I feel like it's like a conversation we can't afford to have because capitalism won. Like it, it, it just did. And we're kind of stuck dealing with all of that, you know? Um, socialism would be expensive. <laughs> like that, you know what I mean? And that, and that right there just kind of sucks. Let's say I pay off my mortgage and then I leave my house to my kids who will then have a house and not have to worry about that expense, your biggest expense being your mortgage or your living expenses. Okay, what are they gonna do? They might buy another house and then they'll leverage the first house <laughs> to make money. By leverage, I mean capitalize on people who don't have a place to live. So they're gonna pay rent. Like, no matter what you do, you're still in it. And it's like The Walking Dead, man. Like, no matter what you do, <laughs> like, it is what it is. All right, that's it. And it's not lost on me that Kanye has now gone independent He's taking jabs at streaming platforms and is going direct to consumer with his album releases. But on the ground level, we still have to operate and streaming platforms are still useful to artists. Follow me. Put the popular songs on the streaming platforms to build a buzz and capitalize on the large audience and drive those fans to the place where you can collect email addresses and take direct payments and provide your exclusive content just like the streaming platforms do. Services like Patreon and Bandcamp come to mind, but check out what I'm building. This is Pedestal, the ultimate direct to consumer platform for artists. Pedestal answers the question of what would it look like if we treated the album like a luxury product? It features a four track stem player, an episodic video player, built in social media module, and the ability to charge what you want, how much you want to sell it for, and how many you want to sell, you know, like, like an actual product. There's an early version available on the Apple App Store right now, link in the description, go check it out. If you have a friend who's an artist, share this video with him or her. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, and let's chop it up in the comments. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.